Ladies and gentlemen, I went ahead and did it again. Went and got one for the one that's supposed to fit the Hyundai's and Kia's. Obviously, we're going to do a compare between the two. Now, I want to also note something. There, I ended up paying more for this one. I, I went back and looked at the receipt. So if we look at the receipt, Fram 9688, which is what this is. I didn't realize it, but I ended up paying $6 for that damn thing. The one we just took apart that went on my truck, it was only $3.88. So where's that money going? We're gonna compare these two because this one says 10,000 miles rated for compared to the Fram, which is what we have here. And it's saying 10,000 mile protection. The bump on the back is the same usual as the new Fram in the last video I showed you. Nothing's really changed here. So let's see. Let's see if it's worth a few extra dollars. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this open. And <laughs> comparing apples to oranges with what I see so far. There is some issues with the paint finish. Again, I mean, obviously not a thing. It may not break or make or break your world, but I just figured I'd show that to you real quick. But there is that. So paint was missed here in some areas. And the one on the Super Tech isn't much better. So this one's obviously a pack them, stack them, and rack them situation. I'm going to go ahead and get this cut open so we can look inside. All right, got it cut open here. Uh, here's the base plate, at least the back of it there. Lots of little inlet holes. We're going to be comparing apples to oranges to Super Tech. It's a lot different. They take totally different designs here too, as you can see. A lot different. Gasket, I said pretty garden variety and the thing I noticed silicone anti-drain back valve so there's a plus what's this writing on here say maybe you can see that better than me my eyes ain't very good today but there's that it's got powder on it but the thing that actually counts here which is the filter I want to set this up real quick because I, I just I'm not see I'm not seeing this thing for the price difference. I'm not seeing it. You know I'm not seeing where this is better than the other. I'm I'm, ju I'm just not seeing it. You know. So let's take a look at it. Get that out of there. There's a pretty decent amount of pleats here. But they also have the summer teeth syndrome. Crimped here on the end, it gets real wide up in here. And it's that even shittier, cheaper cardboard. It's not metal or anything. Look at the center tube. See that gap there? See that? I could pop that thing right out of there if I really wanted to. I don't know, man. This thing's pretty shitty. I mean, I... I don't know. Cardboard ain't even, even freaking stamped out right. It's got curves and edges all on it there. I mean, if we're going to compare this to a filter that's a few dollars less, look at this. This is the Super Tech. Look at that. Metal center tube, no cardboard, no nastiness. This thing will have as the pleats are a lot further apart and it's still the cheap shit. I don't know, man. The bottom here, the little spring, it does have a emergency bypass valve with, held in with a spring. As far as sharp edges are concerned, there's nothing here. It's actually a similar design to that GM filter I just got done taking apart. This is the one out of the Super Tech, and it sits like that. Uh, so this one actually does have a valve built into it, so that is a plus. This thing is covered in, I, 
it's some sort of oily like substance. I'm guessing maybe cutting fluid from when they're stamping these out. There's no sharp edges, like I said. So there's that. Let's have a look on the inside and see if there's any surprises or nastiness waiting in here, and I don't see anything. Let's go ahead and do a case thickness. Zero that in. No, garden variety, half a millimeter. But like I said, I, <laughs> you, I mean, these both have their pros and their cons, but as far as the stuff where the rubber actually meets the road and what the actual purpose of the filter is, I mean, there's your Fram, $6. And here's your Super Tech, not even $3. And it's, like I said, size, they're virtually the same, you know. I don't know, man, but my money's going on the SuperTech again. <laughs> they're just beating these guys hand over fist, man. I mean, cons with the SuperTech filter, this down here, I don't see how there's going to be oil getting past there. So not really much of an emergency bypass in there. And some sharp edges here, like I pointed out in that last video. Base plate, yeah, kind of basic, kind of cheap. And a rubber, anti-drain back valve. This one, the Fram, does have a silicone one. But it does have a bypass valve that's in there with a metal spring. No sharp edges. But, where, like I said, where the rubber meets the road. And it comes actually filtering. Ah, this thing's gonna fall short. There's not a chance in hell that I would push any of these to 10,000, but if it was me, we got guests. If it was me, I wouldn't push this thing really past 4,000. And that's, this is concerning, especially with that gap there. Can you, have I shown you this yet? Look at that. Would you look at that? Oh my God, just look at it. You know, what the hell is the purpose of a centered metal tube if you're gonna have it in there haphazardly? Six dollars they're charging for this damn thing. Six dollars. Yeah, it's got this, but that's hardly an improvement. I guarantee, I guarantee it here, I guarantee you this is probably the meeting they had. All right, folks, we're getting flack from everybody because we don't, we're not doing, we don't produce quality filters anymore, as you know. So we're gonna trick them, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cheap out on the actual filter, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna give them a nicer silicone anti-drain back valve, put that in there, because hey, nobody will cut these open, right? You know, we'll just do that like that. You know, put that over top. You know, you can see the orange from here. And people automatically assume, oh, well, that's a better filter. Meanwhile, you don't even freaking know that they actually cheapened out even worse on the thing that actually filters the oil. This part. Little bastards. Jesus. In summary, not a very good oil filter, especially when the guys that are charging you, you know, a few dollars less, three dollars less, are beating you hand over fist. I mean, not, not in every area, but like I said, where it actually matters. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I would use, a, I, I hate to say it, but I would use a super tech way before I would a fram. <laughs> so uh, I figured I'd like to show you that real quick. Apples versus oranges when it comes to these guys. The super tech is telling you, the super tech is telling you to compare to these guys and uh, they're taking their money and they're running with it too because uh, it, is a, it is a better filter in my opinion. I would uh, choose the Super Tech over these two. I hate saying that, but we're gonna get a Mobile One maybe here. Maybe that'll be our next one, see if the Mobile One's better. I got a feeling it probably would be better than both of these combined, but. So there's that for you. Thanks for watching.